Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we will be discussing the types of hand wraps, materials, length, and what you should buy if you're just starting out in boxing, MMA, and my type. So I am with my fiancé, Vince. So let's get started. Oh, yeah. I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. Okay, so first off, before buying your hand wraps, you have to consider para kanina siya. Is it gonna be for an adult? Is it gonna be for a child? Kasi hand wraps come in different lengths. Okay? So, yung mga basic na hand wraps na mabibili natin sa mga uh, mall outlets, uh, sports shop, uh, they come in 3.5 meters, 4.5 meters, and 5 meters. So, up to semi-pro or going pro na athletes. So, ito, we have here is 3.5 meters. Yeah. Okay. Usually, yung mga ganito, it's for adults na medyo maliit. Okay, mga babae na mga 5, five feet and below, usually yung mga maliit na kamay. Okay na to. Para din sa mga adults na malalaki ang kamay, like for us, like, hindi kami. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ang recommended ko is to buy yung mga 4.5 meters or 5 meters na ang naps. Usually yung mga twins, Fairtex, okay yan, they're 5 meters long. Uh, yung Hayabusa, they have 4.5 meters. I'm not sure why, but kaya nga kamay. 0.5 meter na difference pero it works 4.5 meters and 5 meters are okay for uh, for adults okay. uh, there are naman yung mga types of hand wraps na tulad nito okay it's called Japanese style hand wraps okay ganito uh, the difference is itong mga Japanese style na hand wraps you can use this for training walang problema siya kasi nang mahaba that's because that's what she said pero that's because yung uh, length nila is meant for fighting, for professional fighting na talaga. Um, usually, yung makikita nyo, itong mga ito ginagamit ng mga boxers na mga laban nila. Kasi sobrang laki ng padding dito, up to here, minsan. And they often use it with Mueller tape and microplastics para mas secure yung fit nila. Okay, so going naman dun sa material. Okay. Uh, sa hand wraps, they have different materials. Merong mga materials na tulad nito. This is cloth. Okay, uh, cotton. Cotton para sa cotton. It's not that flexible. Okay, often, pag ginagamit mo to during training, kakaskas siya sa knuckles mo. And hindi siya nagkakasubok. Usually dito, deep inside, deep. dito sa gina ng knuckles. Uh, dahil nga, hindi siya flexible. Cotton siya. So, parang gumagalan siya. Um, it's okay. Uh, kung hindi ka naman nag-training, like, uh, if you're just doing this for recreational purposes, okay lang siya. Pero, to avoid that, uh, mas recommended namin yung hand wraps na Mexican style. Okay? Yes. Tulad dito. So, i-demo. Yan. Flexible siya. So, madali siyang gamitin and comfortable ka kasi after training, uh, kung magkakaroon man ng damage sa nakal mo, slight lang siya. Mamumula lang or kung konting gasgas, meron siyang konting gasgas. But, if you are doing that na heavy na yung training mo like you're punching heavier than the usual magkakaroon talaga ng uh, gas gas sa knuckles mo and yun yung uh, time na merong something na nag improve sa strength mo when it comes to punching kasi dun mo rin siya makikita na lumakas na yung suntok mo ganun. but ito talaga ang pinaka comfortable namin gamitin as a fighter kasi kailangan namin ng mga heavy punching pagdating sa training kung heavy na yung or hard training na kami for the fight. So, uh, ito, yung Mexican style or elastic type. Uh, some people call it Mexican style because I'm not sure why. <laughs> Pero, pag sinabi mo Mexican style na hand wraps or elastic type na hand wraps, na stretch siya. So, parang siyang, in a way, parang siyang bandage. If you wrap it around your hands, mas ano siya, mas snug. Hindi siya masyadong gumagalaw. Unlike yung cotton, yung ganito, siguro mga after a few rounds of uh, bags or uh, padworks, medyo lumulubag na siya. Kaya, yun, nagkakasugat dito sa ano. Another, another thing, if you're 
Kung nagkakaroon ka ng sugat sa knuckles mo, uh, ito either mean na maluwag yung handlocks mo or mali yung pagpad sa'yo or mali yung pagsuntok mo. Okay? Um, as long as dito, dito siya sa first two knuckles, nagkakagasgas or nagkakakalyo or nagkakaipsugat, it's okay kasi ito naman talaga ang pinapantama natin sa proper punching natin. Pag dito ka nasusugatan, that means uh, medyo mali, may kailangan kaayusin sa punching. Okay, so uh, na-discuss na natin yung 3.5 meters and yung 4.5 to 5 meters. And na-discuss na natin yung material for the cotton and the uh, elastic type or Mexican style na material for the hand wraps. Itong Japanese style na hand wraps naman, as you can see, sobrang haba niya and sobrang ipis niya. Okay, with this, okay siya gamitin sa training. Ang medyo problema nga lang is ang hassle niya ikot-ikotin. Kasi, as you know, you have to take care of your hand wraps kung di masisira siya. Or, may, ikaw rin may hirapan pagdating ng next training session. Excuse me. Medyo naglulukot-lukot siya tulad nito. So, yun, ang hassle niya ikotin. You really have to spend time. Patuyuin mo muna siya after training and then isapit mo siya, spray mo siya ng alcohol or what. Tapos, pag tuyo na siya, iro-roll mo siya. For the boxing coaches, easy lang sa kanila itong gawin kasi yun yung regular na ginagawa nila. So, mm -hmm. sa amin, pag nagtatali sila ng hand wraps, like what happened uh, during my fight, before my fight, um, ito yung ginagamit nila para sa amin, para mas makapal. And also, kailangan protected yung hand namin kasi maliit na gloves yung gagamitin namin for the professional fight and kailangan talagang intact yung mga bones sa kamay mo. So, hindi siya ma-fracture when it comes to punching kasi heavy punches. Pagdating sa laban, wala kang control doon. So, protected ka kasi mas, mada, mas mahaba, mas makapal sa kamay mo. So, maproprotektahan yung kamay mo sa maliit na gloves na gagamitin mo pagdating sa laban. Okay, so, ayun, uh, 3.5 meters. Up to 5 meters, this is okay for training. Okay. 5 meters, up to itong mga sobrang haba ng Japanese hand wraps. This is pwede na to pang laban. Okay, the only difference is, pag sa amateur, you're allowed to use regular hand wraps. Hindi na masyadong ini-inspect yung kung ano yung nasa kamay niya. With the pro, like sa pro boxing, you really have to use this. Okay, ini-inspect ng uh, commission table yung kung paano nirap yung kamay mo and kung tama ba yung pagkaharap if may sinukso ka dyan so take note ha if you're gonna be fighting and pro boxing of course alam ng coach mo dapat to you're gonna be using this type of hand wraps plus some tape uh, Mueller tape, microblast tape and bawal um, blaster of Paris or any sort of powder na tumitigas kapag nabasa ng Paris you can google that uh, may mga boxers na gumawa niyan, nalagyan na lang ng powder yung hand wraps nila, tapos pag napawis na natin, umitigas siya. Therefore, pag sinuntok mo yung kalaban mo, parang ka may literal na hands of stone. Google niyo yung kayo ng margarita. X yun, pagdating sa professional fight, kasi chinecheck yun ng gab or uh, games and amusement board na nandoon, at uh, lalagyan ng sign before ng laban mo, before ka magsuot ng gloves, na dapat you should have your Hand wraps check before the fight. So, yun. Okay, so pagdating naman sa ano, where can you buy these? Ito, itong mga to, uh, you can buy this from your local sports shops sa mga malls. And of course, <laughs> sa Lazada and Shopee, you can buy these. Uh, with, with regard to the brand, we're not really particular with the brand, but if you're gonna ask me, para sure, I go with Quince or Fairtex pagdating sa elastic type na hand wraps or Mexican style na hand wraps. May mga local brands naman na okay. Duelo or Bulls, I've used them before. And I was starting out, okay naman sila. Ito, yung uh, Japanese style na hand wraps, I bought this from the local gym that we're training at. Uh, usually sa mga box, legit na boxing gyms, may binibet pa naman ito. So, of course, meron din online. You can get them. So, if you're going to start, mas maganda rin siguro na kahit 3.5, pero for kids and Sa mga adult naman, pwede na rin yung 4.5 or 5 meters para sa kanila. Okay na rin yung Everlast na, na, na madalas nakikita ko sa mga mall na pinipenta. So, okay rin yun. Okay, yes. Everlast and mall still have wraps are also good. 
Pero kung meron naman talaga kayong store na alam na mabibilhan ng mga magagandang hand wraps like Vertex or Queens, uh, mas better. Okay, uh, watch out pala. We're gonna also gonna be making a hand wrapping tutorial video uh, on how to properly wrap your hands depending on what sport you're gonna be participating in. It's either gonna be boxing or uh, Muay Thai or MMA. So watch out for that. Yes. So yun lang guys. Uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video to and thank you for watching. So yun. And Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.